Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Mob. We in the building, as always, man. Back at y'all with my second video of the day, man. Just wanted to speak on uh, these series of tweets that had went on, man. And just wanted to speak on my excitement about it. Now, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I have seen that Turkey al Sheik. The man who's pretty much running the whole boxing scene out in Saudi Arabia, who's been making some of the biggest fights happen as of lately, whether it's Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury, Dimitri Bibble versus Arthur Betterbeev, that's on the, you know, that's on the come up, Deontay Wilder versus Zhang, Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. He's been behind uh, pretty much all of the big fights that's been happening in the heavyweight division, and he's looking to expand. And there was a rumor going around that Turkey al Sheik is looking to do some business with the pound for pound number one fighter in the world and Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is uh, promotionally a free agent, so he's able to roam wherever he wishes. And Terrence Crawford has made it clear that, you know, at this point in time in his career, he's looking for the bag. He's looking for the big, meaningful fights that could come with a big check. And uh, with Turkey al Sheik having, you know, an infinite amount of money, it seems like, it seems like Terrence Crawford would be really, um, optimistic about doing business with Turkey al -Sheik. You see what I mean? So uh, Turkey al had put up a picture with Terrence Crawford um, holding all four belts, and he put the shrug emoji. Um, Terrence Crawford sees that tweet, he responds to it, and he puts, the sh he puts this right here, he puts the sh emoji. You know what I mean? Like the, the stay low, keep quiet type situation. You see what I mean? So with that being known, man, it seems like they definitely cooking something up, and I'm excited, bro. I'm definitely excited, man. When I had heard the rumor initially, um, I was excited about it, and I was just hoping that this was something to come out to be true. Because, you know, obviously we get a lot of rumors nowadays that aren't true. And, you know, or, you know, a lot of fighters will let the rumor rock out. Then last minute be like, yo, that's not true. That's not what's going on at all. And, you know, boxer fans get let down as a result of it. Um, based off of this uh, exchange that I just seen on Twitter, um, it, it's safe to say that these rumors may very well be true. Now, one thing that might not be true in all honesty is Turkey al -Sheik making his debut in the States. You know what I mean? But if that were to actually happen, that that changes the dynamic of boxing totally because some of the biggest excuses that have been made as to why they don't want to do business with al Sheik is because they'd rather fight in the States and all the fights, the more meaningful fights happen in the States and stuff like that, which they're trying to do with Nayua anyway right now. Um, you know, I think it does take away from like, you know, boxing fans in the States because we're not able to see them fights because a lot of us aren't able to like, you know, afford, you know, going to Saudi Arabia and stuff like that. But for the most part, it doesn't necessarily need to be in the U.S. for it to be like the most meaningful fight necessary. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if Turkey al -Sheik is able to bring the fight to the States, then kudos to him, man. And um, he's definitely going to be one of the most, you know, important figures in boxing if he's able to make his U.S. debut. You see what I mean? But one thing I will say about, you know, coming over to the States is it really, um, it really makes an impact on how big you can be. Like Eddie Hearn, he was a huge promoter in the U.K., but he was relatively unknown in the States. And when he came over to the States and he made his debut, a lot of people were had a negative criticism about it. I was one of them, in all honesty. But, you know, as he continued to explore the U.S. market, you know what I mean, figure it out, um, he was able to sign some big business deals. And as of right now, um, he's he's a lot bigger than what he was uh, initially when he was strictly in the U.K., promoter fights in the U.K. Now he's a way bigger promoter. His stock is at an all-time high. And as a result, he's got some of the best fighters in the world since, you know, making his debut in the States. You see what I mean? So if Turkey al is able to get himself over to the States and make some meaningful fights happen over here and pretty much, you know, get some big name fighters on his cards that are from the U.S., like Javante Davis, uh, Terrence Crawford, Jerron Ennis, uh, uh, um, Earl Spence, whatever the situation may be. You know what I mean? Because he already got Deontay Wilder in the bag. You see what I mean? So if he's able to do that, then that's going to take, you know what I mean, his stock to a whole different stratosphere. You feel what I mean? But, you know, just to go back to exactly what's going on with these rumors, man, it seems like Terrence Crawford and Turkey al Sheik got something cooking up, man. It sounds like some confirmation to me. You see what I mean? And what I want to say behind all of this, man, is just congratulations to Terrence Crawford. You see what I mean? This man is winning inside and outside of the ring. You know what I mean? He's been having a lot of obstacles. You know what I mean? In all honesty, I really felt like he was being blackballed by certain people in the industry. If you know, you know. Um, they ultimately didn't want to give him the opportunities to, you know, become this megastar. You know what I mean? They try to label him as being difficult and stuff like that and, you know, hard to do business with. But at the end of the day, man, he's getting everything that he's been uh, looking for. 
You feel what I mean? When he was at top rank, you could consider that a downside in his career because they was limiting his pay and, you know, uh, limiting, like, the types of opponents that he felt like he should have gotten at one point in time but wasn't able to. He wasn't able to get the Manny Pacquiao fight. And he wasn't able to get, like, you know, them, you know, them big PBC names, um, a.k.a. Earl Spence, you know, in the time frame that he exactly wanted to. He had to wait out a few years before he was able to get that opportunity. But nonetheless, he was able to, you know, finally get that big name, was able to prove himself, and was able to make history. Now that he's at 154 pounds, the PBC guys are looking to do the same exact thing. You know what I mean? Trying to avoid them, trying to hold off a possible fight between them. Because PBC, in all honesty, don't want to fuck their money up. You know what I mean? Putting their fighters up against Terrence Crawford. But guess what? Turkey Alashik has stepped up to the plate. And, you know, he's willing to put a lot of money behind Terrence Crawford to make some big fights happen. So this is a blessing in Terrence Crawford's corner, man. I guess that's just, I guess it, I guess the story that you could learn from this is just stay true to the game. You, you know what I mean? Just keep working and the blessings will fall in your lap. You know what I mean? So it just seems like Terrence Crawford can't take an L inside or outside of the ring at this point in time, man. So I'm really excited to see what, what comes about from this, man. Um, you know, they were talking about Terrence Crawford possibly facing Israel Madrimov, who's currently the WBA 154-pound champion right now. So that fight could possibly be in the works. You know, Madrimov just fought on a Saudi Arabia card not too long ago. So him and Turkey al has had some, uh, have a positive relationship business-wise. So I'm sure that, you know, Turkey could get that going. And, um, you know, with Turkey al willing to put some money up, a lot of shit could happen as a result of it. A lot of the reason why these fights aren't able to come together is because of the pay. You see what I mean? But uh, Turkey al has so much access to so much money <laughs> that he's able to get guys like Eddie Hearn and uh, the dude from uh, Queensberry. Uh, damn, what the hell is his name? Regardless, man, he's able to get them two in the same room. You see what I mean? They've never done business together as far as I'm concerned. So the fact that they were able to come together and get some business going between the two and to the point where they're doing five on fives, you got to you gotta, you gotta respect this man's uh, business. You know what I mean? His business model and how the way he goes about things and how he puts his money up because he genuinely is a uh, fan of boxing and um, he wants to see the sport grow. You see what I mean? So let me know what y'all think about this, man. It seems like... Uh, Terrence Crawford and Turkey al have confirmed some of the rumors that have been coming around. But can a U.S. debut come as a result of that, man? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This is Mazuma TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.